go to eBird India website and click on request data at the bottom of the page. Here click on request access, fill the form and submit. Click here for access. You will have to fill in this. So I'm going to select all species. Choose a region I'm going to select. Bangalore Rural. Date range. March 2021. Submit request. You can drag and drop the file which starts with ABD into Excel. You can delete quite a few columns in this and then save this file. Deleting these columns actually makes it a little easier to work with this uh, file. Save as, change it to Excel as. Select the table and insert a pivot table into a new sheet. Select Sampling Event Identifier. Use count a function. To count the number of lists. That is 68. Total number of checklists is 68. Deselect Sampling Event Identifier and select Observer ID. Count A, we will count the number of observers. That is 45. Delete that. Instead of Observer ID, we are going to take Locality ID count A this is twenty If we will use the count blank function and we will check whether the group identifier column is blank is equal to 1. If it is blank, that is if this condition is true, then we will copy sampling event identifier and if it is false, we will copy the group identifier. We will drag this down a few columns and see whether it is working. The group identifier is there, that is copied and if the group identifier is not there, the sampling event identifier is copied. Now we can copy this to the entire column. We will copy these values and paste it in the group identifier columns as only values. Now we can delete this column. Here we will select the 
group identifier we will refresh the data so here we have the group identifiers and the sample event identifiers we will do a count of the data number of unique checklists is 53 go to protocol type switch on the filter deselect all select only incidental delete these rows now go to all species reported switch on the filter again and select only zero and delete these rows go to the pivot and refresh check for the count total number of unique complete checklists is Here you can see that Ashiprinia is there twice with the same group identifier. We need only one. So remove duplicates, select common name and group identifier. We will make one more pivot using this whole data. Insert pivot as a new worksheet. Select common name and drag and drop the common name into the values cell. Now you have the count of each of the species. For frequency, this number divided by we have the total number of unique complete checklists we will click on the percentage now if you see the equation here alexandrine parakeet written as a text it is not referring to the cell here so we will have to remedy that first before we can drag it down so i'm going to delete this and click here now one more thing which we need to do is edit this and b5 if we drag it down it will keep changing the row numbers so we will have to click f4 so that the data is constant now we can drag this down and we have the frequency of reporting add two columns immediately after the observation date now click on this and click on text to columns delimited click on other and give the forward slash remove tab and finish click on this format 
general month year insert a pivot in a new working sheet select group identifier and month drag month to column labels we will do a count a of this data we can now drag this till 12 so this is the number of unique complete checklist I'm going to copy this and paste the values alone so that when we change the data we don't lose that remove group identifier and select common name and in values make sure that sum of month is changed to count of month so this gives for each month how many times each of these species is observed for uh, calculating the frequency we will select the count divided by the total number of unique complete checklist now before we can drag this across the table we have a few things we need to change common name should not be taken from the text but from this column month should not be taken from the text but from here and this when it is dragged to the right the column should not change so we press f4 till we get yeah dollar fi here the row should not change so b dollar 4 here again the row should not change b dollar 1 now we can drag this across and down till the end of the table to get the frequency insert line chart delete the data chart data range we will select the ashi tronco series name is ashi tronco and the horizontal axis is the month names we have the chart 